It's Comic Con, and that means Warner Brothers has decided to come out and showcase a couple of their films. There isn't, no, 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 we don't talk about Flash, no, 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 we don't talk about Flash. Like, we don't do that. They didn't showcase Flash. And they didn't showcase Aquaman, but they showcased two films, their, their 2022 films that's coming out late uh, in the late half of this year, and that is... Uh, Black Adam and Shazam Fury of the Gods and they showed a trailer for both films But let's first talk about Because I did watch them a couple of times. I did watch the trailer for both films a couple of times but Let's talk about What did not happen? There was a rumor flying around for the last couple of days that Henry Cavill was going to show up in the panel at the end to announce that Superman is going to be in Black Adam and he's going to come back and play Superman. And I'm like, as much as a little bit of fanboy e will happen, I realize, wait, this rumor has been kind of floating around every fucking Comic Con or every DC fandom every single time. To the point I'm like, I'll believe when I see it. And guess what? It did not happen. I was like, yeah. Like, I get it. Like, if you watch the first Black Adam trailer, the big question was, is, like, he's going to fight the Justice Society, but the Justice Society is just going to be maybe a, a, a obstacle. Maybe, a, you know, maybe they can, you know, waff him up, or, you know, Black Adam a couple of times, but there's no conflict, there's no challenge with the Justice Society fighting Black Adam, so it was like, what's the conflict, right? So everybody's thinking, well, it has to be Superman, it has to be Superman, you know, and no, so Black, you know, The Rock keeps, Dwayne Johnson keeps saying, you know, talking smack about soups, you know, you can't wait to fight soups, you can't, you know, the DC Universe will never be the same. He's just going to keep and the 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 WWE type smack talk against Superman, and you're like, okay, it feels like the line, the everything's a lie. Superman will be in the movie, but I feel like if that's the case, they'll show that in a trailer for the for the average goers. So when it's in the theater, people will be like. Oh, Black Adam, but you know, I don't understand. Uh, like, it looks fine. Oh, wait, 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 Superman's in this? He's gonna fight Superman. Well, I'm solved. Like, it's. I think they're going to do a. Like, a Spider Man at Civil War, where, like, we only saw, like, 30, like, what, 10 seconds of him in a trailer of Civil War to have that entice for the average guy to be like, oh, Civil War. Oh, wait, Spider Man's in it? Let's go do that. I think that's what. If, he, if the character's in the movie. And if it is Henry Cavill, they'll show that in the trailer. Now, the other... So, outside... And also the other thing, yes, yeah, no, we saw the Snyderverse. Clearly, Warner Bros. wants to move on from the Snyderverse. They want to move on. Fans, can you just accept that? Okay? Right now, it feels like the kids are, like, saying, but we... Why can't you two just work along and get together and all that? No, they're just se separate paths, okay? Let's just, this, hey, this, this, the Snyder verse is like fetch, okay? Stop making it happen. <laughs> Stop making it happen. Trying to make it happen. It ain't gonna happen. And, but they, we got the Snyder Cut, yet yeah, the Snyder Cut's a whole different thing where there's an uncompleted version of the movie, and then they cop off 70 mil of, of a movie that they knew they weren't going to get the money back. Please explain how that's different. This, 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 the Snyder verse is fetch. Stop making it happen. But anyway, let's talk about the two trailers. Oh, by Black Arrow, is, I'm like, uh, the Walk did a, uh, a Loki, which is, if you didn't know, when, was it 2013, 2012, I believe it is? Lo uh, they had Tom Hickerson as Loki show up on stage in costume. That happened. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of the, if you were at the panel, 
if you let the power of this guy go, this guy go, this guy they having like Black Adam in Black Arrow costume, you know, it's kind of neat. Um, but let's talk about the trailer. I don't know which one should I talk about first. Let's talk about um, Suzanne. Or you know what? Let's talk. Look, let's talk about Black Adam because that's the one that, that has the shortest trailer. The sh it's kind of more the same with some extra clips. It's the music is blowing up. I quite like that. But really, there is that question of like, well, okay, you got the Justice Society, you got Dr. Fate saying, you need to decide what he if you're going to be a hero or a villain, you need to do the all that kind of stuff. A couple of extra shots of Black Adam find the Justice Society, it's, you know, with, you know, here's some shot, new shots of Dr. Fate, and here's a, a shot of Hawkman, which I, I, I did a I kick. It's like, Hawkman's coming towards him, and it's like, bits, kind of bits slaps Hawk, Hawkman and be like, into the car you go. Um, but, it's just like, what is the challenge? What is the conflict? You know, conflict equals good storytelling, because, you know, if your character can beat every single person in a couple of minutes, it's just like, well... I just feel there's no threat. There's nothing dangerous. If I don't feel if our main character, if there's no danger towards our main character, why should I care? Why should I care about what's happening in his journey if he's just going to go, you know, left here, left here, going to beat you, beat you, beat you. So I kind of do want Superman to show up or someone. You know, and maybe not to Sam. I, I I don't think so, so Sam is feels like a more of a sequel thing or even a Zan three type thing. I just kind of put that out there. This kind of feels like it, and um, and all that type of thing. Now the Suzanne the Suzanne Fury of the Ghost trailer, like with the first Suzanne movie, I liked, I enjoy, but it's not a movie I revisit. But I saw this trailer and I felt like, okay, it's a little bit more the same. Um, I felt that, like, I do like, I, I do like the M.M. song that they pick for the trailer, but, it, you know, you got the Fast and Furious thing, which is kind of funny, because Helen Mellon was, is in Fast and Furious, but it's like, you know, I have seen all the Fast and Furious movies, and it's all about family, family guys, family, where, where, where is everyone, you, you got those committed moments. Um, you know, clearly they have a bigger budget, so they have more of a, you know, effect. Clearly some effects are still not finished, or even if the effects are like, they will, they will work better on a big screen versus maybe even your te television screen, so it can also be that situation, but it, it felt like they still had to work some effects, and please, for the love of God, do not crunch deep effects artists. God damn it. <laughs> please, Warner Brothers, please. Um, cause, yeah, there was that Marvel, uh, Marvel article. That's a normal thing. Uh, that, I think, and it's not the studio, it's not the client's fault, it's the, the, the heads of the production. Uh, the, the bosses, you know, the, the production houses, the physical effects companies, high ups are like, yeah, we'll do that. So it's mostly, you know, the, the high ups of the the physical effects companies felt that the their employees are in quant mode anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, it's more the same, and it's just uh, you know, there's a couple of cool shots. The costume looks kind of like it is a better costume. I will say this: it is a better costume. Um, I thought they were going to explain why the costume changed, but again. Super, sometimes, hey, sometimes I had to explain the costume change, sometimes I like, fuck it, he has a costume change. Um, but, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I'm, I am more looking forward to Black Adam than to Zeb, just because I thought the first Zeb movie was okay, uh, was fine. So, because you don't have that proof of concept, you haven't have that, like, oh, I, I know how waffly this is going to be, and all that. But, 
You know what? I'm surprised they haven't. They didn't show anything about Ahmed. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, w I was thinking, why di didn't they show anything about Ahmed? Because Ahmed's like, what, March next year? Like, oh, wait, probably because of all the Amber Heard stuff, right? But you could always just show a trailer where it's just nothing with no her in it. I don't know. Uh, if she is in 10 minutes of the movie, if she is, like, it could be interesting, like, they cut her stuff out, and it's like, and she, you know, anyway, and it's like, she's in, like, a good chunk of the film. It's like, girl, that's more than 10 minutes. Um, but anyway, I, um, yeah, we got, uh, two more panels to talk about, or at least one, we got the Marvel panel, um, which, of course, a lot of people are looking forward to, you know, seeing what will happen, what, you know, what film is going to announce, what TV show is going to be announced, what, what's going to be saved for D23. Um, oh, so the Sandman, I've completely, I thought the Sandman panel had, oh, already happened, but um, because they talked about the prelude comic with the TV show cover um, for one the, for the first graphic novel. So, I... So we got that and all, all that, but um, so we've got two panels to go, uh, one or two appendix what's gets shown in the Sandman panel, so look forward for a video 